Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. On a recent appearance on the Dop as usual podcast, legendary Atlanta rapper Jeezy shared a story about a scary experience from his hustling days that landed him in the hospital and made him stop smoking weed for 10 years. It began with a woman he knew requesting his crumbs, which are the remnants of crack cocaine left over after its cut. She was like, "Yo, cuz." Let me get the crumbs. I am like eight cool whatever. So I give her the crumbs. He explains to hosts, hosts Thomas and Marty O'Neill. While hanging out later that night, GZ got the urge to smoke and was referred to the same lady friend from earlier. So I called her. I was like, "Yo, let me get some weed." I get the weed from her. me and my homeboy who doesn't smoke riding around listening to tupac and i'm smoking and smoking the snowman continues and i'm listening and the music feels like it's chasing me i'm the most paranoid i ever been i think i'm a die so he takes me to the hospital After calming his nerves a bit while under medical care, Jeezy wondered aloud whether his lady friend from earlier had put some of the crumbs in the weed to make it more potent. He assumed she had, but I still didn't get the truth out of her, he said. The experience hits too close to home for Jeezy. As His career in the drug game had unfortunately led to him witnessing a number of friends and relatives become addicted to the product they were supposed to be selling. As a result, he put the weed down from a whole decade for a whole decade. I was more afraid, he says. We started off hustling, but a few of them started smoking crack and by the time I'm knee deep in the dop game. This wasn't the only moment of paranoia Jeezy reminisced about. He also recalled the time he actually believed he was addicted to co- addicted to cocaine. One time I went to school after being with my cousin and we was cooking all night and all morning and I just had this crazy feeling he remembered. It was just such an uneasy feeling that I was like I'm going through withdrawal symptoms. Jeezy says he then went to a pay phone and called a drug hotline he'd found in the phone book. I changed my voice like hello. I think I'm addicted addicted to crack. Can you tell me what I need to do? I was bugging he loved speaking on a different type of addiction. The 45 year old MC also spoke on replacing the daily thrill he told from hustling drugs with something just as satisfying but not nearly as dangerous what really fulfilled me is when i learned about real estate because it's the same thing he says you are buying something you flip if it if you had like you keep it if you'd like It's like your money is working for you so it's not different than having a trap house. It's like that's one of my houses that makes money. That's one of my houses that makes money. This is my duplex. It's the most exciting and fascinating thing I've ever seen. It's just fun. This appearance on top as usual is the latest press stop as he prepares fans for the release of his first book adversity for sale yagota believe which is described as a collection of never heard stories of what it took for him to beat the odds and get out of the streets hits mindset he carefully honed to get an edge and the lessons that changed his life and business adversity for sale is published by Harper Collins and Hertz Retailers August 8. Thanks for listening and please don't forget to subscribe my channel.